ago, we um, were talking about framing, how to get out of bottom, right? Today, I want to build on that a little bit and find, to find our hook sweeps. I'm a big fan of hook sweeps. I like to use my legs a lot because, as you can see, my upper body probably isn't that strong, but putting my legs behind my upper body strength and having it all work together really helps me get out of some tough spots. So, um, can I use you as a volunteer? What was your name again? Uh, Speedy. Speedy. So, let's start in side control here. She has the head and the arm, okay? And I'm working to get my frame, right? I walk my hips out to the side here. I bring my hand in, right? I bring my knee in, but now she's really clamping down on my neck here. Yeah, she's hiding, she's holding tight. I can maybe get my frame in here still, but I'm having trouble getting away because she's just, she wants to hold on me super tight, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my hands together and clasp and hold her tight. So now when I bite my elbow down, I can get this top hook in here. And now, see how I stretch with my hooks once they're in? And I'm getting her hips in front of her knees here. That's what I need to now sit up. So she's holding on tight here. I can get my knee to elbow, again, my knees down. My foot pointing up, my elbow and my knee are connected. I'm just going to hit. I'm having trouble getting the second frame in. I'm holding my super tight. So I'm just going to clasp my hands together and bite down on my elbow. I'm hiding my shoulder now as I'm still pushing with my chin on her hip. So now my top foot can come in and I can stretch. I'm stretching and clamping with that head control. So now I can find my foot. Side, walk my hips away so I can get my knee to my elbow, knees down, push up. She's holding on tight, I'm having trouble getting this top hand in. Clamp my hands down, hide my shoulder, and push with my shin here. So now my top foot comes in. I'm pulling, I'm stretching, sitting up. Okay? Again, it's important. When you push on the on the hip here, that you're stretching their hips out. So now I'm, your top opponent is coming forward, and the hips are loaded up. They can't be sitting back here, or else it's going to be hard for you to sit up. So make sure you're really stretching and clamping with that top grip. Any questions? Sit up. about the hooks everyone's doing great getting in here okay if you're having trouble getting this top hook in I like to go over top sometimes if you go underneath now that leg is stuck from your frame but I'm just replacing that frame by dropping my frame putting my hook in here again tight here so now for the hook sweep I'm just gonna pull her in elevate and come over top so framing, he comes in, having trouble getting my second top hand in, so I'm just going to hip escape a little bit more, get my hook, fight down here with the head pinch, sucker in, and elevate. Is this bottom foot here 
it's going to load up on my toes as I'm pulling in and I'm digging. I'm digging and I'm lifting. I'm getting my butt up off the floor. And I'm using that head pinch to pull in and come on top. Frame here, head pinch over your shoulder and elevate. Any questions on that? Okay, let's try it. One, two, three. Okay, so now half guard, same thing. She's giving me the pressure as an underhook. I'm stuck here, right? She's got pressure. I'm having trouble doing a hip escape. It's not going well, right? She's heavy. Put her shoulder on my neck. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find her shoulder and pull down to the elbow here. Then I'm going to reach over her back and find her belt. Now, I'm going to do the same thing where I suck in. If it is no key, you can do the same head pinch you were just doing before. Okay, but it's important I'm using this outside foot to help push and get on my side as I'm stretching her out with my grip. Okay, but I feel like this belt control and arm control is very strong when you're in the knee. So if you can get it, get it. Now I can circle my foot in here, pull, elevate, and get the sweep. Heavy, heavy underhook, heavy shoulder pressure. I'm stuck here. I'm having trouble getting on my side, okay? So I'm going to just bite down on the shoulder, okay? Try to bring my elbow to my hip. Now I find the belt. Hip escape as much as I have to to bring that top hook in one more time. Hide my shoulder and elevate. Pulling in, hip escape, get my hook in, and elevate. I'm pulling, so her weight is going towards my shoulders and her legs become light. So now I look over my shoulder and ease into the sweep. into the hook. Sometimes what happens is, um, is I get my hook, right? I get my control here. I get my hook in, but they start to square up and they're heavy on this hook. Right. So even though I pull, they're just kind of, they're blocking this hook. They're heavy on this hook, blocking, putting their hips back, sitting their hips back. Yeah. But now if they are, I should, because they're so heavy on that top hook, as long as I'm on my side and I have my grips and I pull, even though I can't lift her, I can move this bottom leg. And now I can come back to my sitting position and go the other way. Take them to the other side. Any questions? Concerns? All right, let's try it. One, two, three. One question over here where sometimes 
if somebody's really fighting and basing out, right? So I can't like reach her legs anymore. Like she just like keeps stretching her legs back. It can turn in to a bit of a scissor sweep where you might kick the leg out because you're having trouble elevating and sitting up. As long as you keep that head control, you have them. You have them. They don't have you. Okay. Moving on though, sometimes what happens is a bigger problem for me anyway, is I get here, I get my hook in, can't elevate with the first hook, square up. They come, they get tight. They sit their butt back and you pinch on my hips. Yeah. So now I lose my grip up top because she sucked her elbows in. She's on my hips now. What am I gonna do? She's super heavy on my legs. I have no more hooks, right? Where am I gonna go? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab behind the armpit and pull in. Now I have her back again. And just use it. Your overhook grip, hide your elbow, and you can pick a side. She backs up. She backs up and pinches. I lost my head control. She's heavy on my legs. So I'm going to just grab right behind the armpits and pull in with my legs and my arms here. Boom. Now, weight's on my chest shirt and the legs are light again. So I just fold my elbow, roll over my shoulder for this week. Establish my hooks. Hooks. If I lose control, they're heavy on my hips, pinching, heavy on my feet. So find the armpits, pull in, elevate, and go for the sweep. You guys when he's stuck. He might even be locking up his hands. Yeah, what a shame, right? How am I gonna move this guy? So what's happening here is I want my hooks flexed. My feet are constantly flexed like this, okay? And I can't just push them and sit up. It's a constant motion of pulling and pushing, okay, behind the shoulders. It might not be just one time to go, but it will be one time just to get them to open up a little bit. You get up a second? It's kind of like, I'm sure you've all heard it when you talk about shrimping and hip escaping, right? Or bridging. It's not just once and gone, right? It's constant motion, right? So we might be pulling and pushing, pulling and pushing so we can go to our sweep. But it's that getting them to be here and like start to spread out just a little bit so they don't have a base anymore, right? Big Nick here, he's laying and praying. He's heavy, right? So I'm just gonna constant motion of pulling, push and pull, go. He's insisting, I'm gonna keep insisting, okay? It will be a little bit of work, but if you, if you don't give up and you just like, they wanna stay there, it's like that constant little shaking motion is gonna open up the cracks so you can get them over, get them off balance, okay? Um, let's try a little bit more. Let, oh, go ahead. If they start to like, usually that's when they start to like sit up again. And maybe that's when, if he doesn't like where he feels like he's going, right, he feels this and just like sits back and sits up. That's when I can get out of there, you know? That's when they're not imposing their weight on me anymore. And I would run away and get back to my feet probably because I don't want to be on bottom of somebody bigger than me. But I'm out, right? Good question. Go ahead. I pref I usually can't move the elbows. It's not. It's, it's like I want. I want close to the head, as close to the head as possible. So like the elbows, sure, but he's still heavy with his shoulders on me here. But here I can load him up. I'm pulling high, and I have more of his back and neck. Versus here, it's like he still has a grip and I can't quite bite down on his head. 
versus if I have the shoulders now I can tuck my elbow and go. Good. Anybody know? Okay. Let's drill it a little bit more and I'll be around. Thank you guys. One, two, three. I know it's not an easy one what I finished on, but um, one detail I would like to address. Can you two? When we are going for this, we don't want our arms too extended here. We want our foot and our arms to work together, suck it in and go. We want this turning a wheel from back here where they're still heavy on my hip. I'm taking the weight off my hip, loading them onto my chest so it's like they're light. And I can go. Okay? So remember, don't be afraid to suck it in until it's heavy back here, and that's why I can't sit up. It's bringing it in together so my arms are bent, not here, halfway bent. Here, all the way bent, T-Rex arms, go over my shoulders so they're light on my legs again. That's how the hook sweep works, right? All right. Thank you, everyone, and I guess it's open mat now. Let's have fun. One, two, three. <laughs>